For this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Save the World development roadmap that was released earlier today. And I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to go check it out. And first, we're going to start off with the update that's expected to come out next week. And that update is the patch 5.2 content update. And during this week, we're supposed to get the new Machinist Constructor in the event store, who I believe is Machinist Thora. And the Machinist Constructors are like the best heroes when it comes to making your traps more powerful. So if you weren't able to get Machinist Harper, who's the original Machinist Constructor, then you'll be able to get this new Machinist Constructor in the event store next week. During that same week, we're also supposed to get week two of the weekly horde challenges. And again, you'll be able to see those challenges in the quest tab. And in order to start it, you'll have to go to the horde badge zone and you'll see this little book looking icon and you can access the weekly horde challenge from there. And we'll be sure to upload some gameplay of the new machinist constructor as soon as she's available. As for the following week, which is during the week of August the 20th, we're supposed to get patch 5.3. And with this patch, we're going to be getting the new Blunderbuss Flintlock Assault Rifle, which you can see here. And the description that came with it says that it's a surprisingly accurate multi-barrel rifle that fires in powerful bursts. A high damage and large magazine help compensate for a slow fire rate and heavy kick. So the new Blunderbuss is a burst rifle. It can also do a lot of damage and has a large magazine. But it also sounds like it's going to have a slow fire rate as well as a lot of recoil. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the stats for the Blunderbuss. Like I said earlier, it does fire in burst. So apparently you will have to tap the trigger in order to keep shooting. If you'd like to increase its damage and impact even more, then make sure you choose Shadow Shard. If you'd like to increase that slow fire rate or its durability, then you're going to want to choose Obsidian. But yeah, that's when you can expect to see the new Blunderbuss Flintlock Assault Rifle. It's going to come out with patch 5.3 during the week of August the 20th. And during that same week, we're supposed to get week three of the weekly Horde challenges, which again, you'll be able to access from the Horde Bash zone. And as for the following week, which is the week of August 27th, we're supposed to get a patch 5.3 content update. And with this update, we're going to get the new Mythic Ninja who has a new ability and he's going to be available in the event store. And unfortunately, they didn't provide much information other than that. As soon as we find out more about this new Mythic Ninja, I'll be sure to let you all know. Anyways, we're also going to be getting week four of the weekly horror challenges during the patch 5.3 content update. And the reward for that week four weekly horror challenge is going to be a new Raider Soldier Hero, who I believe is going to be this Raider Street Racer because she was one of the leaked heroes that we went over the other day. And the description that came with her is the same description as other Raider soldiers. So this street racer hero is most likely gonna be the new Raider soldier that we're gonna get as a reward from the week four weekly horror challenge. And the Raider soldiers are the best heroes when it comes to doing damage with shotguns. Even if you have one already, it's good to have a second one to put in your support slot because that's gonna increase your crit hit rate with shotguns. But yeah, that sums up everything that was included in today's roadmap. Let me know what you think about the new Machinist Constructor, the new Blunderbuss Flintlock Assault Rifle, the new Raider Soldier, and let me know what skin or ability you would like to see with the new Mythic Ninja. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.